So I created a video recently showing how to use the quad remesher with plasticity models that are imported in Blender. And uh, it, it works well in some cases, but in others it didn't work well. So I decided to go back to the drawing board and try to figure out, can we crack this code? Well, I started with Booleans in Blender and uh, this is what I came up with so far and it seems to be working pretty well. So what I started with is just a simple cylinder cut out in a high poly sphere and that seemed to work perfectly. I think I used about a thousand polygons or at least a thousand count in the quadrimesher settings. So, I mean, that eh, looks pretty good. I mean, it's, it's hard to complain. It's the topology is pretty consistent. And yeah, I mean, you're always going to get some weird, some weird edge flows, but uh, overall it looks pretty good and should work just fine for subdivision surfaces. Then I tried to use a torus and uh, just, again, a cylinder cutout and um, kind of the same thing we're getting decent results with that but as soon as i you know started using something that was a little bit harder edged and cut it into this shape well when we ran the quad remesher um well overall it did pretty good but you've got kind of some some crazy top topology going on here i mean it still works but it's kind of weird um so i decided to experiment with the use materials setting and i think i finally cracked kind of what we need to do here um in this case i split the top and bottom not you know not completely evenly but roughly and added a green material to the bottom a different material to the top i used green here and uh yeah, I, I use quadra mesher and it, you're just taking a look at this. I mean, that's that's pretty consistent and the quads in here look good. Um, really can't complain. So what I determined is not only do you have to use um, materials or edge loops control in some cases for the hard edges, you may have to use it. And in this case, I think it proves that you really do have to think about using it in cases where you want to direct the overall flow of everything else and uh, this came out pretty good I'm doing some experiments with the models imported from plasticity I haven't mastered it quite yet but I am getting slightly better and better results each time I try so at any rate this this should work pretty well for boolean cutouts and seems to be working pretty consistently again i think for the first couple of examples i used a thousand count and then for this one i used ten thousand i used quite a quite a bit so we may not need that many but it does help us define the the smoothness of the mesh Anyway, that's just, you know, something that I, I found pretty cool. And of course, we can run subdivision surfaces on this, no problem. And so that's all looking pretty good. So just keep in mind, I think it's really useful to use the used materials and to consider directing the flow with those materials. All right, well, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking this video, sharing this video with friends, and hitting the notification bell to stay up to date.